Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen. Before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like. And let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. I'll definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily double uploads. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today we got an extraordinarily catfish build. We got a multi-position defender that is Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking pie chart. Like, that is unheard of to think about. There is nothing about defense that says Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking, but this build actually is a multi-position defender. So, what you wanna do is go power forward. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed. And again, like I said, we're going with this pie chart here, believe it or not. And then what we're gonna do here is go with the pure speed, all right? So this build actually is a primary ball handling type build. Um, we're gonna max out the driving layup and the driving dunk. We're gonna go 72 on our mid-range shot. We're gonna max out the three ball. We're gonna max out the um, free throw and we're gonna max out that post fade for 22 shooting badges. And then what we're gonna do is go 60 on our pass accuracy, max out that ball handling and that post control, okay? For 16 playmaking badge upgrades. Then we're gonna max out interior, the perimeter, the lateral quickness, skip the steal, max out the block, the offensive and defensive rebounding. And then with that last five, just go ahead and put it on your steal, okay? So what you're looking at is one, 22, 16, and nine. Trust me, extremely catfish, right? There's, like I said, there's nothing here stating anything about this build being a defensive build, it's not. So that's what makes this build so good. The expectation of a defense, a multi-position defender is not to be able to speed boost, momentum dribble, is not to be able to shoot lights out from the three, right? This build does that. This can be your primary ball handling build, okay? So what we're gonna do here is that our body type, you do wanna go compact because we are gonna add a lot of weight. You do wanna go 6'7". You wanna get your weight all the way up to 259 pounds. And then your wingspan, just go to 86. And the reason why we only wanna go 86 is because we do wanna keep that 80 ball handle, okay? So let's talk about a few things here. We do know we get a plus eight to our physicals. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you get another, you can get um, the other plus four by doing either of these three things. Either A, going into my career, um, you do wanna play every single game until you become a starter. Once you become a starter, you do want to sim out the rest of the regular season. You do need to play every single playoff game, win the championship. And that following season, you will get the gym rat bash for the build. All right, or you can do B, which is go to the Gatorade facility, talk to the guy at the entrance. He'll give you a quest. And he'll basically say, whatever season you're currently in, just hit level 40. You hit level 40 in that season, you will not only get the gym rat bash for that build, but you'll get the gym rat bash for every other build you currently have made on your game. So what I always recommend, if you plan on hitting 40, just go ahead and make every single build that you think. They, don't have, you can, they can be 60 overalls. Just make them, go to the game facility, talk to the guy, and activate the quest. And then with that main build that you've been using, just go ahead, hit level 40, and then when you load in with those other builds, you will automatically see the recognition at the bottom that you got gym right back. So that's the best way to go about it. If you, hit, if you hit 40 in the season, that's the best way to go. Or C, which a lot of people have to do, of course, is just every seven days, go to the game facility and do those workouts. So what you're looking at here is gonna be a ridiculous 85 speed with an 83 acceleration. So this build is gonna be really, really fast with the ball in his hands. And then on the finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense slash rebound, you do get a plus four there. So what you're looking at here is a 73 driving layup and a 70 driving dunk, which is huge because you're gonna be able to get the long athletic, athletic um, layup package. And then you also get the quick drops off one. Those are the two um, competitive um, layup and dunk packages you always wanna try to strive for, okay? And then when you're shooting, you have a 79 mid-range shot with an 85 three ball with an 86 post fade. So again, really, really good there. And then on your playmaking, you have a 70 pass accuracy with an 80 ball handle with 82 post control, right? So that 80 ball handle, you will be able to get all the elite dribble packages. 
which is going to be really good. And then defensively, like I said, 66 interior defense, 77 perimeter and a lot of quickness. You get a 67 block, a 61 offensive rebound, and a 75 defensive rebound. Nothing says multi-position defender, but it's a multi-position defender, all right? So you want to go ahead here. Obviously, to me, the best one to go with is going to be with the sharp take. But again, like I said, just being different, I can see how you can go with post take and not have any issues because you already have, if you go back, an 86 post fade and an 82 post control. So you could utilize that. Post control also, I mean, post takeover also gives you a plus 10. So that means that 66 interior will be a 76 interior defense. So it does boost your interior defense. Everything else gets a plus five. So that means that 85 three ball act should be a 90 that 79 mid-range shot will be an 83 so remember that all your takeovers inside your main um, categories will give you a plus 10 so that post fade will go from 86 to 96 and then that 82 post control i mean will go from an 82 to a 92 so and your interior defense will go from 66 to 76 so that's what post takeover dominates at but then all the other places will still get a plus five um so to me personally i think that when you're thinking about the whole grand scheme of this build i think post takeover would be the best bet um so that's the reason why i'm going post take with this one okay so here you have it, my nephews and nieces we have a multi-position defender at the hall of fame shooting and playmaking pie chart this got to be the most catfish build of the game man all right so let's do this let's test this build out real quick we'll get to 99 and then of course we'll get you out of here okay so let's max this all the way out here boom um, here, what I would do is, again, like I said, since you do have post take, maybe you want to go with like post spin technician or something. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then on the shooting side, hot zone hunter, sniper, stop and pop. Um, if you're a rhythm shooter, do rhythm shooter instead of stop and pop. Doesn't matter. Lucky seven. Um, I like to go blinders and I like to go dead eye. Now, here's another thing. You could easily go, since you are working in the post, you have a high post fade, you can do fade ace, and there's nothing really wrong with that. Have fun with that. Um, difficult shots is another good one. Like I said, there's so much versatility in a build like this because of what it does. So it's really up to you and your preference and what you're comfortable with. So this is what something I would do. But again, it's really up to you. Heck, you can even get difficult shots because those post hop shots will activate difficult shots. So, and fade ace, they all work together. So, I mean, even if you want, or you can do circus threes, if you like doing circus threes, you know? So, it's really a preference. And then here you have 16 badges here. I will go actually quick chain gold, quick first step hall of fame, handles for days gold, on pluckable silver. And then I will go ahead and get my bell out on bronze. And then now you have three to go with. You can get that bullet pass from gold if you want to, or just go bronze, get that hyper drive if you wanted to, and then go something like this. Or you can just go ahead and drop this down here, get your um, quick um, unpluckable Hall of Fame or your quick chain Hall of Fame. Again, there's really there's numerous ways you can go about that. And then on the defensive side, the big ones, rebound chaser, rim, rim protector you want to have because this build is going to shine when you run it at center. Okay, and it goes something like this. And this build is going to do really, really well. Okay, but anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Catfish Multi Position Defender build. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Oh.